Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. It's the Cursed Captain, Hippo TC here, and in this video, I'm gonna break down everything that is in the new update, Haunted Shores. There is so much in this update, so I will do my best to cover it all quickly. But before we get started, if you can find it somewhere deep down in your pirate heart, consider hitting that subscribe button. Each sub is greatly appreciated, and I promise that I'll continue to work hard to bring you quality content worthy of that beautiful sub. Now let's jump in to the video. With this new update, we see Captain Flameheart's power rising. His influence across the Sea of Thieves is beginning to escalate, and this scurvy captain has figured out a way to bridge the gap between the land of the living and the Sea of the Damned, summoning long-lost vessels to his service. What does this mean for us pirates? Well, we get a new and exciting PvE encounter on the seas called Ghost Ships. These ships pack quite the punch with the help of some new haunted cannonballs. These ships will introduce us to phantom balls, a green specter that will leave a large hole, wraith cannonballs, a green screaming skull that leaves multiple holes and causes knockback similar to hitting a keg. And last but certainly not least, a flame phantom cannonball that will set your ship ablaze. Ghost ships will also drop mines behind them, making it even more challenging to bring these ghostly scurvy dogs down. There are two ways to encounter these ghost ships, through the Burning Blade World event and through the New Order of Souls voyages. The sight of Captain Flameheart's glowing skull in the sky is enough to strike fear into any pirate, and in this case, it signals the arrival of the Burning Blade World event. Crews will also have to fight back waves of ghost fleets before facing the infamous Burning Blade itself. Order of Souls is also leading the charge against these ghost ships by offering new permanent voyages for pirates wishing to seek out and sink them. You can unlock these new voyages at rank 25. Defeating the ghost ships will reward you with haunted loot and spooky supplies. You might even score a cannonball crate of the damned stocked with phantom balls or even some of those wraith balls for you to wield in battle, giving you a significant edge against other pirates. These new encounters come with new commendations and achievements to be unlocked. So if you are one of these kind of pirates that like to complete everything you can, you are going to love this. With that in mind, I've put together a full guide on ghost ships and I have linked that video in the description below. With this update, there will also be more regular events added to our seas. If you love the daily bounties, fortnights, and gold rush, get ready for some new events called Ashen Expeditions. Every Tuesday, you get double the usual rewards when handing in Ashen Treasures. Also, the value of all stronghold items will be boosted, so that ought to light a fire under your booties. At the Pirate Emporium, we are getting a bunch of new goodies. There's a new free emote, the Blighted Ship Collection, Gold Curse Collector's Pets, Ghost Pet Outfits, Build Rat Cat Outfits, Animal Dance Emotes, and the thing I am most excited for, more tucking emotes, so be sure to check out the Pyre Emporium as soon as you log in. Now, if all that wasn't enough, one of the best things about this update is we finally get some new shanties, and we will now be able to choose the shanty we want to play. About time. We also see improvements to the quick chat wheel, a reshuffling of the cannonball wheel to prioritize the chain shot followed by the fire bombs, blunder bombs, before rotating to the cursed cannonballs. This will help a ton in combat. There also has been a change to the harpoon retraction speed, meaning if you miss your shot, it now retracts faster, allowing you to try again while on the move. Other improvements we see are on the PC side of things. Now when you select a barrel, the mouse will reset to the middle of your screen, making it easier to get things out of the barrels with speed. There are also more changes to the Emissary Ledgers. We get expanded views for the reputation pages and they now show the required Emissary value to reach for each tier. Lastly, let's talk combat. We see improvements to the hit registration when shooting at players that are using static interaction points around the world. Things like ladders, cannons on islands, etc. But probably the best change is the sword combat. When engaging in sword combat, attacking a player and landing the first strike will now prevent the player from attacking back through your three hit combo. However, pirates can still block swiftly, so prepare for that counter attack. This is a great change, and it finally brings some much needed skill back to the beautiful, 
beautiful sword. What are you most excited for in this new update? Please let me know in the comments below. I hope to see you scurvy dogs out on the seas. Wind.